Hey it's Sam, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to make a hidden cat litter box. For this project we're going to use some MDF and some dressed pine. When designing this I chose to make it rather big for two reasons. One, I have a fat cat and two, most enclosed litter boxes are really small and it would be hard for the cat to turn around in. So the final dimensions I chose were 600mm wide, 550mm high and 700mm deep. Using my table saw, the first thing I did was cut out the MDF to size. MDF is great to work with because it has no grain and it's really strong. Unfortunately it's really heavy but since I won't be moving it that often, it's perfect. After cutting my top, bottom and both sides, I started assembling the box using 25mm brad nails and Gorilla Glue. I used two clamps to secure the MDF together so I didn't have to worry about holding it when I was using the nail gun. As you can see I'm using a lot of glue but that doesn't really matter. There's a bit of glue squeezed out at the end but I cleaned that up with a nice wet rag. I continued and did the whole box using the same technique. After I finished putting the box together I got a wet rag and made sure I got all the glue so it wouldn't dry. After realising it was so big I decided to work on the floor. So apologies for the lighting, I have new lights coming so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Once I got it on the floor, I started to measure out the back of the box. I only used 3mm MDF for this because I don't need to be as thick as the sides because it's not actually going to be seen. I got a pencil and I put the whole MDF sheet over the back, marked a line so I knew where to cut. I put glue all the way around the back, then I placed the MDF on top and fixed it down with brad nails. There was a little overhang but that's fine, when I sand I'll bring that right flush back to the box. For the legs, I marked out my design I wanted and all I had to do was cut it out with the jigsaw. As you might be able to see, I used a little clamp to join two pieces together so when I cut it out with the jigsaw, it was cutting two of the exact same copies. When designing the legs, I wanted it really low so my cat wouldn't have to jump up into it. I just designed it so he could just walk up into it. After cutting out my legs with the jigsaw, I sanded it with my orbital sander to get it nice and smooth. For the legs, I'm not really a big fan of the natural look of pine, so I decided to finish it using a technique called Shoshugi Barn. I recently made a dining table using this technique, so if you want a more in-depth video on how to do it, I'll link the project at the end of this video. Make sure when you're using a naked flame to keep a fire extinguisher or fire blanket handy. After doing the shoshugi barn, I decided to finish in a walnut stain that I had laying around. It has a varnish built into it, so you don't have to put any clear coat at the end. To fix the legs to the box, I just pre-drilled some holes in the bottom of the legs and used 25mm drywall screws and screwed directly into the bottom of the box. The hinges I chose were cabinet hinges. The ones that I got aren't recessed, so you can just screw them directly onto the timber and you're done. Using a bit of scrap NDF, I could make sure that the door was flush. I measured the opening in the front and I cut out some MDF for the door. When I was cutting the door, I accidentally left my router bit sticking up, which stopped me pushing my MDF into the saw blade. Luckily there's an emergency stop by my knee, I clicked that, took the router bit down and continued the cut. So when I was designing this, I thought maybe just use a circle cutout, then I thought who would want to jump into the toilet every time they needed to go. Anyways, I chose to use a traditional cutout just like a dog's kennel. It took me a while to get the exact size for the cutout. I didn't want it to be too wide because I didn't want to see that much of the litter box, but I also didn't want it to be too narrow either. Once I was happy with the design, I got my jigsaw and I cut out that shape. I installed a magnetic catch on the other side of the hinges just so the door wouldn't open unnecessarily. I screwed the hinges onto the door and left a gap so when it closed there was equal gaps on both sides. I did some sanding off camera, then I painted the door black and the rest of the box white. I did two coats and that's it. All done. Thanks for watching my video, I really hope you got some inspiration and I'll catch you on the next one.
Also, if you like this video, please subscribe and maybe click on one of my other videos. Thank you.